Today's video is sponsored by the huge supporters of this channel, Buxu. Check the description box for $15 off your first Buxu order. Hey Grains, on this channel we've done everything from fidget toy mystery boxes, unique fidget toys, weird fidget toys, even sensory fidget toys, but we now have a supplier. <laughs> This huge box of fidget toys was sent to me none other than the viral TikToker of fidget toys, Mrs. Bench. Not sponsored, not affiliated. But in previous videos, I have never seen many of the fidget toys that Mrs. Bench has sent us. So if you're interested in watching these videos with my sister Sika, I will link them down below. It did get a little chaotic, especially when it came to bananas. Oh, wow. Oh, ah! wow. No! <laughs> to it. And now, wait! <laughs> And if you've recently been a huge fan of fidget toys, let me know in the comment section below which one is your favorite. I've always been a fan of the clickety ones, but also portable. I like to keep them in my pocket. And if you want any information about Mrs. Bench, I will leave them down below and you can check out all of these products also in their shop. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe because we do all sorts of weird, wacky reviews. Click on all notifications while you're there because I, I, I do have a very sharp point thing. It is pretty new, so it is pretty sharp. So... This is not a real threat. I mean, look how big the box is compared to my hand. And not just that, but I mean, Ramsey's approves, although he was more interested in, in kisses and hugs. So I love him so much. My big chonky kitty. All right, let's just, let's pull this big bubba. That's quite heavy. <laughs> Let's see what we get inside. I don't know if I'll be able to do all of them in one video, just like last time we had to split it into two videos. Holy shrimp, this is a cute box. But we're gonna do our best. All right, we got this, and okay. Oh, 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 oh. The box even has all the socials right here, but I kind of want to get a glimpse of one, what's on the inside and then decide if I'm just gonna pull them out randomly to see what we get. Let's take a quick peek together, Grains. And holy shrimp. Oh, oh I got goosebumps. Oh, I'm excited. I already saw something I actually really like, but I think what we're gonna have to do, let me take a quick peek again. Oh, let's see here. We have the card and these are the spoilers, which I'm not gonna read. I'm just gonna count how many are in there. Holy shrimp, 23 items. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna pull out 12 random ones and then the next 11 in another video. So let's see what we got. I do want to remind you guys that just because I am going to grade them, it doesn't mean I don't appreciate them. So let's just keep that out there. It's on personal preference, okay? Okay. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna pull is, oh, what is that? Glooby spiky squeeze ball. Oh, I don't know. How do I feel about that? How do I feel about spiky filled with squishy jelly beads? Okay, my brain switched jelly beads and squishy and for some reason I read juicy. I read juicy beads in my head and then I had to reverse them. So I would like juicy beads. <laughs> I'm kind of thirsty now. Don't forget to hydrate. Holy shrimp. That definitely looks spiky. I don't know why I got goosebumps right away. I don't know. There's a little slit. Let's do that. Okay, and can we appreciate the packaging? It has a nice little crunch to it. Okay, let's 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 drop it here before we touch it. I don't know why this makes me nervous. Okay, here it is and Oh, 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 the goosebumps. Let me tell you right away how it feels like. You know when someone shaves their head and then you pet it and it's like spiky soft? That's exactly what this feels like. Oh, this feels so good. Arr! We're starting off really good here. We're, oh, oh, I like this. Okay, I really like this. Even if just having this, just to touch the top where it feels like someone's shaved head feels nice, feels very nice. Okay, let's squeeze it and see what happens. Okay, so we have some Orbeez on the inside. Very normal. Nothing abnormal about, about squeezing this. It does have a little bit of a ribbed texture, which I have to be honest, is actually really pleasant. It, it is ribbed for my pleasure. <laughs> Normally I'm not a huge fan of these when they're not textured, but this is the first time I have it textured. It adds something, uh, a little bit of je ne sais quoi, a little bit of uh, uh, something très bien. Mm -hmm, you know, it's very exquisite. But yeah, you can see, there you go. Feels very nice. I'm going to give this, oh gosh, I really like this, an eight and a half on 10. <gasps> Starting off so strong, oh my God. It's not that sticky by the way, see? 
It's not sticky. Oh, the sound. Listen. <laughs> oh, I think Mrs. Bench is starting to get to know me. Look at that. Okay, I, I'm, I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Stop yelling at me. I got this. I'm just falling in love here. Don't mind me. Oh, because you're so good. Oh, you feel like a shaved head. I love that texture. It's so pleasant. Wet. And next. Oh. I keep pulling. Oh, pull and pop. Your pull it. Hang on. I said your pull it. You pull, it pops. I've never seen this before. Okay. So it seems we have a narwhal. I always say it wrong. It's a narwhal, right? Not narwhal. Nar narwhal, right? Google, you tell them. Narwhal. Like that. It says blue orange and okay this is i feel like this is going to be fun it's the newest fidgeting craze okay okay let's see we got to tab why is it in a resealable bag so here it's in a resealable bag not sure why. It comes in a keychain. Okay, okay. Now, by the way, many of you were yelling at me in the previous video when you said this is not a poppet. If it's solo, it's not a poppet. It's a simple dimple. Okay, I understand. Don't yell at me. I'm very fragile. <laughs> But thank you for teaching me. And I'm guessing we pull it because it says you pull it, it pops, right? Pull and pop. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, that's better. <laughs> okay, so from one side we pull, and the other side we push. So it's basically a simple dimple, but with a horn. And it's quite well attached. So even if you pull at it, it, it is in there. It doesn't feel fragile or flimsy. It's holding on. So you push in, and you pull. Okay. I expected more of a... Nena. You know what I mean? Like a... <laughs> so this is... It's a lot more subtle. It's cute. Yeah, it's cute. Okay. And it already comes with a keychain, so you can put it on your bag, on your backpack, wherever you want to take it. I'm gonna give this Mmm, usually poppets and simple dimples start at a base of a 7. So I'm gonna give this a 7.2. It gets points for cuteness and originality. The only thing that I do find slightly unpleasant is the holding of the horn because it is very well textured. Actually makes it so that it's, see, making the dent right here. So it makes it just slightly unpleasant. So keep that in mind in case you do have any kind of sensitive skin. And then, okay, this package is a little bigger. Bacon and eggs? No. Wait, I just realized that the salt shaker is red for some reason. Maybe it's because of my gaming channel. I don't know if you're not following my gaming channel, Raging Raccoon Gaming. I will leave the link down below, but it definitely should not be red. It should be a little on, on the green side, like so. I have a feeling my sister Sika is not going to like the fact that I did this by, by myself without her. Okay, first of all, the packaging comes in a little pan to go... <sighs> bacon and eggs. <laughs> what is your favorite breakfast item? Do you like savory breakfast or do you like sweet breakfast? I will not eat a single sweet item for my breakfast. I can't do sweet breakfast. Nah, uh mm-mm. -uh. And here it says, play with your food, okay. The ultimate stretchy breakfast. And in the back, we just have so stretchy. And they're kind of holding it weird, like this. Usually like this, right? Unless it's from underneath. What? But alas, sometimes I wish these fidget toys actually did smell like what they said they looked like. Because I like all sorts of sensory experiences. I like to get my nose all up in there. Oh, I, what do I touch first? Do I touch the bacon? Let's touch the bacon. Oh. Oh, what is that? Listen. So there's some kind of sand on the inside. That is not what I expected. That is stretchy. Look at that. I don't know how else to show you how stretchy that it is. I can't talk anymore. <laughs> what? Hmm? Hmm? I don't want to do it. I'm scared. I'm going to hurt my camera. <laughs> Let's try from here. Let's try this. You see? You see what you gonna make me do? Okay, that is super stretchy. It does feel nice. And yeah, definitely there's some kind of wet sand in there. Not kinetic sand because it doesn't keep any kind of shape. 
So there's a lot of air on the inside. Now for the eggs, let's see if there's a different texture. And, oh, oh, oh. What is that? It has a double texture. Oh. Hang on, let's move this because the egg is white. Let's go ahead and put my felt. And the egg has both a kind of ball texture, kind of like this one. I still love you. You're still my baby. I will never, never, never let you go. I mean, I put it away. Calm down. So the egg part, the egg yolk, is kind of like a ball. A little, it's not sticky on the outside, but it is sticky on the inside. Listen. And then here is exactly the same as the bacon. So it has some sand texture. How stretchy is it? I'm scared. It is stretchy, but I can feel that this is its limit. Clearly because it is a shorter toy, but it doesn't feel like bad quality, so I'm not too worried. Very nice. And then this part. It's like a bubble gum. Yeah, that's the texture. It's like a bubble gum. You know when you make a balloon a bubble? <laughs> <Can't>. <laughs> that's what it feels like. I like it. Bacon. I like it. I'm gonna give these a good base. I would say... 7.5 and okay let's take this can i'm guessing it's slime no <gasps> i've seen these online these are supposed to be really oh these are gonna be crunchy aren't they now technically these are not for little ones let's be very clear many of these fidget toys can be interchangeable for any kind of age however these oh yes Oh, oh yes. These are tiny magnets. I just, why do I keep getting goosebumps today? Mrs. Bench, stop it. Stop sending me the good ones. <laughs> these are tiny magnets and tiny magnets are definitely dangerous for the little ones. So these are for more people who are gonna be in college or a classroom. Oh, I squished it. I squished it. Okay, so let's let's pull this. Oh gosh, okay, let, me, let me pull you. So you can play with this in so many ways. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna squish it. Listen. Oh. The colors are gonna mix, I'm sorry. Oh, yes. They have such a satisfactory crunch. Oh, I love this so much. Yes. So the fun thing about this is you can do any shape that you want. There, and, and we, we choose to go with flat shape. Here it is. Look at that. And then you could just mold it. It's kind of like clay without the annoyance. So again, keep this away from little ones. Keep them away from pets because this is magnetic. Holy shrimp. You could pull it apart. You could, oh goodness. <laughs> so here you go. Let's say I want this one and this is a little one. Put it straight. Look at that. You can create your own log type of shape. There we go. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Let's do a person. That is, that is not how a person is built. We're, we're gonna fix that person. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> we need a neck. Oh no, is that gonna work? Hang on, let's put the arms a little lower. Eh. No, the hands! Can I even do it? <laughs> They're doing gymnastics. <laughs> Here's a circle. There you go, they're doing gymnastics, uh, yoga, something like, no, oh, oh, the, 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 the dance. <laughs> this is so entertaining. There's so much you can do with this. I know it's, it's magnets, remember that, but there's so much that you could do with this. Even just with shapes, you could try to do little triangles, well, pyramids and whatnots. Let's just absorb everything. There you go. It doesn't look like much, but for someone who likes the fidget and you have these magnets that hold on and they won't fall in little beads, you can make little bowls. I like this a lot. I really do. And the colors are so pretty. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm gonna give this an entertainment, a high entertainment value and fun squishiness. It feels good. It crunches very nice. I really do like this. I'm gonna give this a nine because it's so rare to have fidget toys that are exclusively for grown-ups as well. So I'm gonna definitely say yes to this. But again, keep it away from pets and little ones because magnets. All right, I'm just gonna put this away. I'm guessing putting it away is going to be fairly easy. Just squish it back in the container. Oh wait, that is not the container. <laughs> Hang on, oh no, oh no, it's stuck to the metal container. Okay, we're gonna squish it back in here. Voila. Oh, oops. Get in there. Voila. And now it is safe and locked again back in its little... 
So I'm empty. There. I'm kind of tempted at the corner of my eye. I do see something very colorful, and I'm like, I'm gonna reach for it. I know I shouldn't be peeking, but it's colorful. Oh, what is that? We have stretch lures. Silicon fidget stretch toy. Okay, are they scented? And these ones remind me of Twizzlers. For those of you who don't know, Twizzlers is a North American, I'm guessing, kind of snack candy. It tastes absolutely synthetic, but it is kind of yummy. Not too much of it, but just a little bit of it is quite yummy. So this really does remind me of the same texture. And oh, oh ah, it says scented. Ermi Scented. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down. This is not a drill. We're gonna be sniffing them. <laughs> and the packaging actually has a grown-up on there. See, I like the fact that we're removing the stigma of fidget toys just being for little ones because that is not the case. Okay, does it tell us any kind of sense? All right, it just says sweet smelling. So I'm guessing all of them are gonna smell the same. And they do come in a resealable bag, so. Oh, and there's a bag in, no. <gasps> the rainbows. Oh, I already smell it from here. Oh no. <laughs> but let's, let me show you. Oh, what it looks like. Oh my God. Hang on, Blue, go back in place. Oh, this smells so good. Oh my God. Okay, so here they are. And I thought it would actually smell fruity, but it smells closer to a vanilla scent which I'm not complaining about because I really love the smell of vanilla. Like a cake, a vanilla cake. Mmm. Okay, now, since I did slightly touch them, I know, I think I know what these are. So from my first touch is that they feel like monkey noodles. Basically, they are stretchy fidget toys that you can knot and do lots of things with. So let me, let me show you. Oh goodness. Oh, the tape. Oh, the tape. You know what? I'm just gonna pull you out. There, there, yeah, there. Oh, that feels good. Oh, the rainbows. Oh my god. Yeah, these are definitely monkey noodle type. Let me bring them closer. And so that you can see it, they are the exact texture on all of them. And they're the same softness. They feel really good to squeeze as a bunch. They're quite soft. Oh, that smell. It, it really, it's making me want vanilla cake. All right, let's take one out. And you can see here that with monkey noodles, you can stretch them a lot. Like this is not even its full stretch. It's off camera. Yes, it is. And you can also do this, hang on, which is also pretty satisfactory. It's so stretchy. Hang on, let me hold it from the middle. <laughs> you hear that? That sound is really satisfactory. And you can also just knot it. If you don't want to do big stretches or anything and you just have any kind of anxiety or if you just want to sit down and twist it, this is the beauty of monkey noodles. But with the texture and softness of this, it makes it even better than monkey noodles. So see, I've made knots, but look how easy it is to just remove it. So it doesn't strain any kind of joint pain or anything like that for those of us who have chronic conditions and pains. I love this set. This set is mine. I am not sharing with my siblings. I'm going to have to say that this is a nine on 10. It didn't give me goosebumps, so that's the one point missing. It is really close though. Oh, I love these so much. Maybe 9.5, 9.5, because I'm gonna be playing with these a lot. So, I like these a lot. What? <laughs> and then, okay, this one's round. What do you be? Another ball. A lot of these fidget toys end up being balls. So it's nice to have different shapes from time to time. What, how do you open, how, how do we open you? My hand still smells like vanilla cake. What are you? Color change stress ball is what it says. And this is an original from Mrs. Bench. Interesting. Okay. How does it change color? <gasps> oh, I got the goosebumps. Oh, that feels good. By the way, this ball is pretty thick. <laughs> Don't take me out of context. I can feel the skin. In here, this is oh no. I'm trying to be professional here. Listen, <laughs> the, the the thickness here. Okay, it's pretty thick, so it doesn't feel like it's gonna break anytime soon. But look at that color change. No, hang on. I want to do it between my fingers. Oh my gosh, my fingers are too fat. <laughs> Let's do this. No, it's not gonna work. There you go. That is fun. 
The color change alone really has me fixated, to be very honest. This is really nice. If it were just, you know, the pink, I don't think I would care for it that much, but the color change really gives it that extra oomph of satisfactory. But there is a little bit of resistance, so I do feel it here. So if you do have any kind of chronic pains or joints, this does have a little bit of resistance. Otherwise, I really like this, especially that the color change is extremely dramatic. It's just like, you think I am pink? Oh, look at that, I am fully pink, but no, <gasps> I am green. That is very dramatic. Yes. You hear the dramatic music that's been playing. You're very, quite very dramatic. But yeah, I like this. Usually something like this would get probably a six, but because of the color changing, I'm going to give this, I would say a seven and a half. Yeah, I'm very entranced by this color change. It's very dramatic. And then I feel more balls. <laughs> You're done. You're done. And they are Mrs. Bench Personal Fidget Collection. Okay, Mrs. Bench Fruit Keychain. Do they smell? Are they scented? That's the question. So we have three items, peach, orange, and lime. So one has cloud dough, and then they have slice of fruit to pop out. Okay, okay, let's, let's see what those are like. Wow, that took a long time. <laughs> there we go, oh. And they fell behind the table, no! <laughs> no, I have to, oh no, I need help. I need help getting them from under the table. Oh no, you saw nothing. <laughs> so luckily Pat was right around the corner and I was like, Pat, Pat. And he, he came to help me, so I'm lucky for that. I didn't touch them, I just told him to throw them here. Oh no, wait, oh that's because the, oh gosh, my floor needs to be cleaned. I think that's because there's fruits that pop out. Oh, gross, but satisfactory. <gasps> it's pretty firm. Oh, that is pretty firm. Wait, we didn't sniff it. No, it smells like fidget toy. <coughs> Don't sniff it like I did. Okay, so the orange and the lime are fidget toys that have little fruits that come from outside. So here's the orange. So we should squeeze it. That is cute. And we get like an orange slice. And the orange slice is pretty textured. That does feel nice. I do like this. I don't know if I would play with it that often, but you know what it feels like? You know those little fidget toys? That's the, the bean and the little bean sticking out when you pop it. That's exactly what it feels like. So basically, you get to do this. Like that. And like so. And I forgot what the peach did. Ah, oh, it's true. The peach had like clay slash powder on the inside. They're cute, definitely portable. You can take them onto your bag so you can attach them. And if you're sitting on the bus or in public transit or waiting for a meeting or anything like that, it's quiet, but it does make this kind of like sound like someone's chewing. Hang on, let's let you hear that. So it depends if you have tolerance for that kind of sound or not. Not quite my cup of tea. Why does this one come in a different chain though? Maybe that's me. Now I'm fixated on that. <laughs> Maybe you could put them all together. Not my cup of tea. I wouldn't be fidgeting with these. I would say for me, these are like, mm, maybe a four. Now for the next three, I kind of cheated just a little bit because we have little ones, we have medium ones, and we have big ones, okay? Whatever you want is most likely up to your preference. But these are the little fidget toys that go wee woo wee woo I love these so much. But I never stop to ask myself, do different sizes make different sounds? Is bigger better? Or is medium better? Is there a difference? I don't know. We're gonna find that out together. So let's start with the little ones. See what they're like. Let's hear that. And can easily be pushed back. Yes! Oh my god! Let's try that again. And put it back. Oh, the crunching is so perfect. And from what I know is that I think you can just kind of build them together. There you go. So you can build them. Make a little circle if you want. Oh, I can do this forever. I can be obnoxious all day. Okay, so that's the little ones. Let's try the medium ones. Well, they're kind of big on the big, they're, they're kind of on the big side. So I wouldn't call this medium, I'll call it medium big. There, let's hear that one. Oh, oh, that really extends. Okay, and then obviously you have to hold it from closer. <gasps> that sound. <laughs> yes. So yeah, if you want something, the sound is definitely different. 
Yeah, I like that sound a lot. So comparatively, you hear the difference? Now let's hear the biggest ones. I don't think I've ever seen them this big. These are gigantic. Let's switch it up and do blue. Okay, ready? Oh, that, that takes a lot of force. Like my arms are like, oh, that's quite the workout. Okay. Kind of similar. Kind of similar. There's a little bit of a deeper tone to this, but listen again. They're very, very similar, but very different at the same time. And then this one is definitely, I think the little ones are probably my favorite. And then there's a size that's smaller than this one, and I, I keep them on my desk on the other side. Actually, hang on. Here it is. This is the one I keep on my desk all the time. So we have big, medium, schmoll, and then the one that I play with is kind of in between these two. And it makes the loveliest of sounds. Hear this. It's my favorite. I love this. And yeah, you can put your finger in for a different sound. So it's a matter of preference and what kind of sounds you like. For me, it's kind of, I, I really do like this one. You know what? Um, maybe in the box has this size. Let me check real quick. A few minutes later. And a good thing I checked because the answer is yes. Here they are. Same size as the one I like. A little slimmer. They're a little slimmer than the one I actually use. Let's give them a try anyways. I didn't look at the other ones. Don't worry. Orange. Okay, let's hear it. Oh, mama. Yes. I don't know why I love these so much. And yes, you can connect them if they're the same size. And you could do all sorts of things. How do you connect them? Okay, the small side to the big side. Like a so. Look, they twist. Like that. They can twist. You see? So you kind of have a continuous one. You can twist them like so. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Oh, there you go. Voila. This for me. <laughs> This is it. It's like a necklace. I love it so much. These are my favorites. So I'm a little on the bias side. I really do like the tiny ones as well. So I'm, I'm biased on these ones. So take this with whatever way you like to be obnoxious. And the size depends on you. It's a matter of preference. But for me, these are at least an eight to a nine because obnoxious and, and fun. And I like the sound. So yeah. I know that many of you grains have already subscribed to Boksu, but for those of you who didn't, let me tell you a little bit about them. Boksu is my favorite Japanese snack subscription service that comes straight from Japan. And they focus on premium snacks, not just the gashi. And they source snacks from all over Japan, including companies that are well over 100 years old and family businesses. Every month, you'll be getting anywhere between 20 and 25 different snacks curated upon a specific theme, such as this month is Manatsu Fruits. Let's try a couple of snacks. Lemon tea financier. Oh, the details. This would be perfect with tea. Mm. <laughs> Seaweed tempura. I've had this before. It's so good. It's like a sushi party in your mouth. <laughs> but as a new subscriber, you'll be getting something called Seasons of Japan, which you'll get a taste of a little bit of everything from a little bit of everywhere. And I absolutely love this box because it is really centered around a citrusy theme. And when you do get your box, definitely try this one here, the Melon Boucher. And if you like the snacks, they now have a boutique. So if you want more of something, you can go ahead and shop on their website and just stock up on your favorites, which I'm really excited about. In each box, you'll also get a cute little magazine that tells you where your snacks come from and whether they're vegetarian vegetarian friendly or not. So if you're looking to get some delicious snacks, why not check out my link down below and use my code NERDYCRAFTER to get $15 off your first Boksu order. Again, the link will be down below as well as the pinned comment. Thank you Boksu for being huge supporters of this channel and sponsoring today's video. So let me know in the comment section below which one of these is your favorite and if you think I've been unfair on any of the ones I may have ranked low, very curious in the comment section below. If you want to watch more fidget toys, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch my collaboration with Mariah Elizabeth where we made custom tumblers, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.